How was your weekend, Elsa? It was great to picnic with my mom, my dad, Jeremy, and Granny, and I think she knows you. She is my friend, just like you are. Really? That's so cool. Do you know we talked about sirtuins, the chemicals that are responsible for the spooling or winding of the DNA strand into a definite and organized packing that you told me? I helped Granny in making Jeremy understand the importance of staying healthy. That is impressive. It means that you're a great teacher as well as a good sister. <laughs> I don't know. You should ask Jeremy about it. Ha ha ha! I will. Victoria, I want to learn about how to measure age. Do you know how we can know how old we are if we don't know our birthday? Oh, of course, my dear. What do you think your scientist people do to measure the age of the things that are present on the Earth for thousands of years? I don't know. Maybe there's a method of calculation of something present in them. You almost got close to guessing. Yes, if the readers of the DNA are disturbed, they lead to different diseases. These diseases lead to aging. For example, age in mice does not mean that their hair turns gray, but it does mean that it becomes weaker day by day. Its organs stop functioning properly. The measuring of controlling or bundling and winding of the set of genes to define a cell's function is done by measuring certain sites on the genes. This process is called DNA methylation. This chemical is just a carbon attached to three hydrogens. This chemical attaches with DNA. As you're developing in the womb to make a brain cell different than a liver cell, a different pattern. But over time, there are changes that are predictable and they change in a linear fashion. How does this lead to measuring aging? By measuring the DNA methylation pattern across the genome, the DNA strand is a cell which is six feet. The biological age of the person can be measured. You made it so simple. I understand now. Well, that's it for now. Today I told you how much a person has lived. Next time I will tell you how to measure how much a person is going to live. I can't wait. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get notified.